everyone talking about Good Girl Eau de Parfum by Carolina Herrera. The notes in this are, among other things, tonka bean, cacao, tuberos, jasmine, almond, coffee, vanilla, orris, and sandalwood. So I really like this. Uh, it has a lot of notes that I normally don't like. Coffee, I think there's rose, almond, tuberos. Cacao can be hit or miss for me. Cinnamon, I think patchouli and a few others. But somehow this blend just smells really good to me. Uh, the tonka and coffee type of notes here give it this intriguing kind of edge. And the lighter notes elevate it from smelling like too earthy or too dark or bitter or anything like that. To me, I would say for the earlier phases of it, it smells fairly youthful. Reminds me somewhat of what certain friends wore when I was in high school, which I'm 35, so that was... 15 plus years ago, um, but then it gets a little bit more mature in the dry down. And yeah, I personally find this to smell really good, like really sexy. I know a lot of people who wear feminine leaning fragrances think of this one as just like, oh, that's so basic. I do think that probably part of that is from the bottle, which looks like a high heel. Then there's like the masculine version, which smells nothing like it, but like a bad boy, which looks like the lightning bolt and stuff. And people really think those bottles are like corny or cheesy. I think it's kind of fun and cute or whatever, but. Yeah, point being, people do think this is basic, either partially from, oh, that bottle's so kitschy or whatever, or also just, like, the scent itself. But of a lot of other people that I've talked to who are attracted to women, um, this is definitely commonly considered very sexy. So even though it might seem basic to you, if you are the type of person who wears feminine leaning fragrances and you're not attracted to women, it is something that can come up across as very sexy to people who might be attracted to you. So around $70 for a bottle, moderate to good longevity and projection, leans feminine, and uh, yeah, I'll link in the description where you can get a bottle or sample, but <laughs> love to, if you're a team basic on this, or, or if you're not, just yeah, curious what anybody else thinks of this, because I think this is one that quite a few people uh, have smelled. It's certainly not rare.